Hi, I'm JP Murrieta with the New Mexico Activities Association. With the NMAA's emphasis on compete with class and the professional and sportsmanlike conduct of coaches, we are asking that coaches at all levels be mindful of bench decorum. We are asking our officials to continue to communicate with coaches, but we want them to be able to effectively manage the game without disrespectful conduct of head and assistant coaches. This video will discuss the expectations of head coaches, assistant coaches, and officials as it relates to the coaches box and bench decorum. Here are some notes for the head coaches. First and foremost, the head coach is responsible for the conduct of all bench personnel. The head coach may be standing within the confines of the coaches box during a game. They may stand in order to coach a player or to address an official. They may only address an official in a professional manner and cannot exit the box in any situation unless called on the floor to attend to an injured player. Any violation of this rule will result in a direct technical foul to the coach and the loss of the coaching box privilege. A head coach may not designate anyone else to stand in the coaching box. All other bench personnel other than the head coach must remain seated. A head coach may kneel or squat within the confines of the coaching box during the game. If a player receives a technical foul for dunking prior to a game, the head coach is charged with an indirect technical foul and loses the coaching box privilege. The player is also assessed a technical foul. Please keep in mind that the third technical foul, indirect or direct, or the second direct technical foul charged to the head coach results in ejection from the game to the team's locker room or outside the building. After a head coach is ejected, the coaching box is not afforded to the assistant who resumes the coaching duties for the remainder of the game. Speaking of assistant coaches, here are some of the rules in place. Assistant coaches must be seated during play. Kneeling or squatting by an assistant coach is not acceptable. Under no circumstances should an assistant coach be standing during live ball play. They may stand during timeouts. Also, assistant coaches should not have dialogue with the officials during a game. Any violation of this rule will result in an indirect technical foul to the head coach and a loss of coaching box privileges. Here are some points to address with officials. Contest officials have the jurisdiction and discretion to determine whether a coach is violating the rules of the coach's box. Officials should issue an initial warning to the head coach for any violation of the coaching box by the head or assistant coach. An initial warning is not necessary for egregious acts by coaches, and we all know what those are. Here are some reasons a technical foul could be issued relative to coach's conduct. The head coach is consistently outside of the confines of the coach's box, and outside is defined as both feet, whole body, clearly and completely outside of the box. Or another reason for a technical foul could be the assistant coach or other bench personnel continuously stand, squat, or kneel in the box. Remember, assistant coaches should remain seated throughout the duration of the game. Technical fouls can also be issued for disrespectfully addressing an official by questioning the integrity of an official, voicing displeasure about officiating through continual or chronic verbal remarks. As a reminder, questions require a response. Statements do not. Officials should answer valid and professionally addressed questions by coaches. Coaches are reminded to ask questions to officials. For example, Statements such as three seconds or that's a travel, those are not subject to a response by an official. Attempting to influence an official's decision by physically charging toward an official or otherwise threatening an official can earn you a technical. Using profanity or other language that is abusive, vulgar, or obscene directed towards officials, opponents, or anyone else at the game can get you a T. This is interscholastic sports and inappropriate language is unacceptable. A technical can be issued for taunting or baiting an opponent or objecting to an official's decision by rising from the bench or using gestures. Examples of this would be excessively demonstrating official signals like traveling or holding or even demonstrating by use of gestures or actions that indicate displeasure with officiating. You know, the wave off or standing with your arms completely extended to your sides. If any member of the coaching staff engages in any activity that incites negative behavior by the crowd, guess what? 
a technical is probably on its way. It's really simple. Coaches, stay in the box. Assistants, stay seated. And let's professionally address officials. And let's all compete with class. Questions about the coach's box or the expectations of the NMAA office with regard to bench decorum can be directed to Sally Marcus at the NMAA office. Thank you for watching.